by now they have covered 18 lakh kilometers if you follow the formula 2 pi r earth's radius they have covered earth 45 times without any major problem it's a technological marvel it's one day bharat train is like a combination of a power plant of a very complex computer system and a very complex mechanical system so going to this is the third now we reached this level and boss says no this is not enough so he has given us new targets we are now designing the third version of it which will be lightweight lightweight and totally we'll try to do start from zero so that whatever we have learned incorporate and do even better most of the work was uh, started by my senior predecessor honorable shri piyush goel ji i'm just continuing what he started and taking it forward so thank you sir so, so much for doing that heavy lifting and the big push that you gave so this is new delhi station would you believe this these are the two domes under which the entire station the railway tracks the platforms are this entire elevated corridor around it this is the new generation of india's railway station this kind of technology is practically there in only three countries in the world this kind of construction technology so first few machines couple of machines we imported everything else we manufactured in india now ahmedabad mumbai delhi bangalore these are totally different category what about new jalpaiguri what about visakhapatnam what about bhubaneswar what about patna two trains which came and started running on the indian railway tracks by now they have covered 18 lakh kilometers if you follow the formula 2 pi r earth's radius they have covered earth 45 times without any major problem it's a technological marvel it's vande bharat train is like a combination of a power plant of a very complex computer system and a very complex mechanical system going together at a speed of 180 kmph design and currently operating at 130 till the tracks are upgraded so whenever in our system whenever we do something uh, prime we go to the prime minister we think that we have done great and then the pm will say no this was the bar now up to this go up to this i don't know where the roof is so someday we'll have to he keeps on raising the bar and uh, he said that no we have to have better design so this is the version 2 where lots of improvements have happened and uh, now practically every month we will be rolling out uh, 3 to 4 Vande Bharats and PM's target is to connect by 2023 15th August the next year 15th August 75 cities have to be connected for the users this is an air spring right this air spring and this damper spring combined and the very low tolerances which make it, uh, makes it a very rigid body means today when, when Prime Minister travelled about 40 kilometres in this train, uh, he must have stood up about 15 times to get photographs with the welders, with the electricians, technicians, all the people who came there. Not a single, not even once did he have to take support of a seat or of the cabin baggage area. Absolutely no jerks. 18 countries have already written reports about the Vande Bharat in their local newspapers and somebody as important as Financial Times wants to do a full-fledged feature on it. So this is the third. Now we reached this level and boss says no, this is not enough. So he has given us new targets. We are now designing the third version of it which will be lightweight, lightweight and totally we'll try to do start from zero so that whatever we have learned incorporate and do even better what happened is many of these machines these kind of machines which are which pick up a thousand ton thousand ton is like 500 trucks so thousand ton kind of uh, load in one go and puts it on the top of the uh, pillars it these are huge complex machines and Good thing is, first few machines we imported, because this kind of technology is practically there in only three countries in the world, this kind of construction technology. So first few machines, couple of machines we imported, everything else we manufactured in India. That's our brain, right? That's the way, that's the way we can make a very huge scale up. Uh, and 
I'm, I'm sure if you get some time, watch it on YouTube or whatever is your preferred mode. Look at some of these, this, uh, look at some of these construction technologies. Very rapid construction. So this guy brings the, uh, this huge girder which uh, weighs a thousand tons, puts it on top of this. There is a uh, transporter having 216 wheels. That transporter takes it to the next level, uh, next pillar. And then this guy, the launching guy, this guy picks it up and puts it on the next pillar. So that's, it's, it's a phenomenon. It's, an, it's something worth going out and seeing by yourselves or seeing on a video to believe it, what you see in vid, um, the, 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 the construction of high speed in China or that kind of stuff is happening out here. If you look at any parameter, investment as a percentage of, percentage of the GDP, the whole curve which was going down ever since that 2G, 3G, coal, all those things were happening in the country and the banking sector got a big hit. From those different times, the country has come out and we are going back up towards 30% as the structure of our economy, 30% as investment as part of our GDP. Bank credit growth is 14% in June and as we see the latest numbers, it is almost now 17%. This is a very, very significant indicator of the investment cycle, the capex cycle which has started in the, in the uh, private sector. This is a great indicator, this is a leading indicator of that. Average capacity utilization which was 60-65% is now moving towards 70-75% and many sectors it is moving towards 80%, 85%. I'll talk a little bit about stations. Most of the work was uh, started by my senior predecessor, Honorable Shipyush Goelji. I'm just continuing what he started and taking it forward. So thank you, sir, so, so much for doing that heavy lifting and the big push that you gave. So what should a station look like? Should it look like the way it has looked like for 100 years? Or should it be totally different, totally for a new generation? The aspirational generation which is coming up people who are exposed to things that are happening all over the world. So this is New Delhi station. Would you believe this? These are the two domes under which the entire station, the railway tracks, the platforms are. This entire elevated corridor around it. This is the new generation of India's railway stations. This will be New Delhi station already tendered out, estimates done, cabinet approvals got. <laughs> Work should Work should start uh, in uh, coming four to five months. Almost all the permissions taken from all the different agencies that are there. Should this be limited only to Delhi? Absolutely not. This should be throughout the country. We should try and see which are the big cities, smaller cities where we can replicate this kind of design. This is the overall master plan of the Delhi station. Now, Ahmedabad, Mumbai, Delhi, Bangalore, these are totally different category. What about New Jalpaiguri? What about Vishakapatnam? What about Bhubaneswar? What about Patna? Again, following the same concept, creating whatever space is required, new urban space which is required, and making the station as a city center. New Jalpaiguri, Ludhiana, all these are stations where the tenders have already been awarded, work has started. This is not something which is in future, right? This is what is really happening today.